Hey, how you doing? It's the Stick Man from 94.7 The Country Giant here with our new boss, and his name is Jonathan Monk. Now, you'll notice that, you know, I'm in a tie. That never happens. Well, there's a reason for that, and it's through the prankster slash mean streak. It's not a mean streak. It is the prank prankster streak in me. And, right. and Philip went on vacation, so what we're doing now is we're going to call a meeting. We're going to tell him that there's a new dress code. He's the only one that's not dressed in a suit and a tie. Right. Because we all did this, and we're all in on the joke. Right. He's not in on the joke. Mm -hmm. uh, and I hope it doesn't hurt his feelings, but, you know. So, um, now, but now the thing is, is in this meeting, he's going to let him know that, okay, we understand you were on vacation. You didn't hear that, you know, there was a dress code, but tomorrow... Tomorrow you have to dress in a suit and tie. Right. The thing is, is that we're all going to show up in jeans and a t-shirt. Right, okay. Okay? I hope he doesn't get angry. Uh, but thank you very much for uh, you know going along with the dress code. I appreciate that. This gives us an opportunity to really set the stage because you're all professionals. Now, I know they're going to be with the dress code. There's going to be some things like I noticed that Freak is kind of a little relaxed, but I know like uh, Zach's going to have to go out and do a promotion, so bring an extra set of clothes but while you're in the office, a shirt and tie for that, but you know, I know you've got things outside. So thank you very much for that. That's all I wanted to say. Well, I mean, are you sure like this is okay? I mean, because, I mean, I mean, I understand the, the purpose of this, but I mean... Well, it sets the tone professionally. If we've got clients that come in and everything, you know, you got to look nice. Yeah, you, you gotta, you know, respect the clients, and they're the people that pay our salaries. So, yeah, I mean, you know, you can loosen up your tie like you're doing when you go on the air. You know, that's a that's a cool thing. But the tie yeah. is mandatory. Yeah, suit and tie for uh, gentlemen and uh, skirts for ladies. So that's. I think she should wear a tie. Grab wear a tie. She should wear a tie. If she if, if she wants to do a tie, that's fine. Philip, you're excused because you're on vacation. You can get my. You, you I have no idea what you're doing. That's right. You didn't get my email because you were on time off. Yeah, you, yeah. Took, you took Friday off, so right. don't worry about that. So, um, and, and, and you need to get something like, if, 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 just, if it doesn't fit, you need a new shirt. Right? Yeah, I mean, if we have to dress up with a stupid dress code, I said you need to get another tie other than kiss. Well, well, I got some Elvis ties. That's acceptable. I mean, you know, you got like a flowery tie. I've got kind of like a freaky. Yeah, you got a flowery tie. I, I, got, hey. I got a freaky tie. <laughs> but, I do, but I do appreciate you guys dressing up. And I want to thank Lee Ray because he really set the precedent because he comes in his outfit every morning. <laughs> yeah, Lee. 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 I'm not putting it on me, I'm putting it on Lee Ray, because I saw him. Uh, and listen, turn. Lee Ray did say something. If any of you guys need any dressing etiquette, you know, standards, he'll put I you to Jason really class and show you some, you know, some Stafford and shirts and ties. <laughs> uh, thanks, Jonathan. But just to, hear the, just to hear the dress code, and I really I appreciate that. So thank you for coming. That's all I wanted to mention. Thanks a lot, guys. Can you email me whatever you email to them? I don't have any yeah. dress code. Just the dress code. I don't know how much of that you could see on camera, but Phil is upset about this dress code. We're all going to be in t-shirts and jeans tomorrow, but he's upset. Yeah, hey, Jonathan, can I see you for a second? Oh, yeah. Okay. Once every two hours, and if you guys want to run this like a prison, 
Well, let's, 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 sorry. Let's, let's, sorry. Let's, sorry. Well, I mean, let's. I mean, seriously, this is crap. Dude. I mean, we've been doing. Well, you know, if we've been doing. Wait, hey, wait. hey, hey, hey! If that's how you feel about it, I feel about it that way too. How do you like that? Take your own time. Wait, whoa, so man! Crap, what's man? going on here? They're getting naked. That's crap. We'll take your tie off. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Right you take your tie off. I'll take my tie off. Well, there. Well, I didn't even wear one. <laughs> well, there's that. You know why? Because there's no dress code! <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous! This is so ridiculous! <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Phil. I just called my wife and I said, Sue, I said this morning retirement's looking better and better. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, this is all on you. But, and it made it a thousand times better that he was standing there eating a burrito. Well, <laughs> you know, I kept wondering, this, this morning you guys were taking this so well. I thought, you bunch of wimps. <laughs> I even asked him, I said, dude, you want me to go home and change, man? I didn't get the memo. <laughs> <laughs> Call him. That's so funny. That was good stuff. Oh. Oh. Welcome are back, you, Bill. Are you telling me that you orchestrated this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like when? No, it was. It was last week. It was, it was Monday before or you were there. It's Monday or Tuesday. Hey, tomorrow is t shirt and, and jeans day. I'm just saying. No, t shirt and jeans day tomorrow. That's a new dress code. Actually, go, go ahead and sell the we were, we were going I could deal with khakis and just a shirt, but a tie. <laughs> Look, Stick Man's already undressed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel so stupid. I was going into everybody inventing this. <laughs> do you love you by? You want to leave the Okay, see you by. <laughs> well, I've got all the Sue said. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Sue said. She was serious. I said, Sue, it's a job. Thank God. <laughs> she just called Julie and said, Julie, your dad is as peon as I've ever seen him in my life. You know, everybody's worried about it. <laughs>